Hello, everybody. Welcome. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. It's nice to have you. How are you? Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's good. Thank you. It's nice to have you. We're going to have our class number 14 today, as you may know. Let's begin. Uh, let me show you what this thing is going to be about. Give me a minute. Here we go. Um, section number five, how do you spell you? Have you ever written a camel? Present perfect versus simple past. That is the thing we're gonna work today. It's class number 14. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so uh, this is our class. Thank you, it's nice to have you and I hope everybody is okay at home. Okay, so thank you, thank you so much. Okay, do you remember when do we use simple pass? Do you remember when do we use simple pass? Mm -hmm. No, teacher. Oh, okay. Well, uh, what is simple pass? Let's begin with you, um, Claudia. What is simple past tense? Um, the tends to talk about past events. <laughs> exactly. Can you give me an example, please? Uh, for example, last weekend I went to a historical center and I made some treks around the place. Okay. That is correct. Thank you. Okay. My yes, passion. that's right. Simple past about past events. That's very good. What else we can say about present perfect? Uh, that question is for you. Let me see. Oh, let me see. Oh, Juan. Hello, Juan. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. What do you know about present perfect? Hmm? Tell me, what do you know about present perfect? When do you think we use present perfect? Mm -hmm. When do you think we use present perfect? Okay, let's work with Daniela. Hello, Daniela. Are you here? Hi, teacher. I'm here. Nice to have you. Please tell me uh, when do we use present perfect? Uh, when we use perfect present perfect when we want to explain something that we um, do early. Oh, okay. That's right. Thank you so much, right? Things like above experiences, right? That's what we do. Thank you so much. Very good. So we're gonna use present perfect with things that we done recently. Yes, that goes in the past. Thank you so much. Let's begin. Uh, here we have this picture. Please describe the picture, Anna Cristina. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. 
Thank you, Anna. Tell me, uh, what do you see uh, here in this picture? Here. Thank you. I see a um, miss um, uh, body. She have she has a jacket with uh, sky color. Is sitting in the table. Where is this woman? Um, uh, boring, uh, sad. Uh, yes, but where where is this woman? Do you have any idea where is this woman? Is this woman at home? Is this woman in a school? Is this woman in a church? I think in home. At home, okay. Probably right. Okay, thank you so much, Anna. Very good. Uh, we're gonna have okay. this information that you see here in North America. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez, please read the information that it says in North America. Is this one, is uh, de, de el cuadrado, solo oh. lo cuadrado, está yes. marcado en... En okay. light blue, yes. In North America, people usually like other to be on time. But, but for some occasions, it's okay to be a little late. For example... People shall always arrive on time or a little early for a business appointment, work, or a class. However, when they meet a friend or when someone invites them to diner, dinner, it's okay to arrive five to 10 minutes late for an informally party. It's okay to arrive 15 to 30 minutes late. Thank you so much, very good. Okay, so this is like people in North America. What do they usually do, right? in ton occasions, right? Um, question for you, Juan Jose Garcia. Are people usually on time for appointments like or for work or for a class in El Salvador? Sorry, teacher, uh, repeat, please. Okay, this question here, are people usually on time here in El Salvador for appointments, a work, or a class? What is appointments? Sorry. Appointments is like, for example, when you, um, I don't know, you gotta meet Cita. somebody. Exactly. Cita. Thank you, Ana Cristina. Very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, ya, yeah. es como, uh, como que si usan algún, algún tiempo, algo así, no. No, on time, the expression on time. What is the meaning on time? Mm -hmm. On time, it goes with the watch. A tiempo, mm -hmm. okay, on time. A puntual. Exactly, yeah. puntual. So the question is, are people usually on time for appointments, work, or a class here in El Salvador? Yes. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much. Very good. Evers, hello, Ever. 
Evers. Hello, hello. Good evening. Teacher. The second Good question evening. is for you. Is it okay to arrive late when you meet a friend for dinner or go to a rest, an informal party? Mm, I guess it's, it's not okay because you, you, are, you are late and I don't know how to say, no está cumpliendo con su palabra. But, but for is a meet with your friend is not not too bad. Only that teacher. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Question for you, um, Janessi. The same question. Do you think it is okay to arrive late when when you meet a friend? Uh no. I don't think so. It's a bad date to do that. Okay. Thank you so much. What is your opinion about this one? Um, Jorge, when are some other times when it's okay to arrive late? A little late. Um... The bill, the business appointment, or watching the movies at uh, the cine. Um, mm -hmm. What about a birthday party? Do you arrive on time when there is a birthday party? Yeah. I mean, if the birthday party is at 3, do you arrive at 3 p.m.? Always? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's like very surprising for me. Okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah, because usually when, you, when you're invited to a birthday party, you usually arrive late. If not, you're going to help them with the decoration. Yes, they're talking about the globos, decorar, right? If you arrive yeah. early. Mm -hmm. oh, but that sounds pretty good yeah oh, okay thank you so much um, we're going to have this about the past tense complete the chart with the past tense of these verbs we have the present and here we have the present and here we're going to write the past tense what is the past tense of the verb do did Thank you. What is the past tense of the verb of the verb find? Found. Exactly. Very good. What about get? Got. Got. Thank you. What about go? Went. Went. Okay. Thank you. Went. Have. 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 Thank you so much. Leave. Left. 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 That is correct. Lock. Locked. Locked. Very good. Open. Open. Thank you. What about pay? Paid. Paid. Very good. I think it's like this one, right? What about put? Put. 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 Remember? Remember. Remember. Very good. Oh, Jesus Christ. What about C? So, so, very good. So. Take. Took. 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 Thank. <laughs> What's going on with this one? Took. Try. 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 Very good. Thank you so much. Which ones are regular and which ones are irregular? Uh, teacher and remember what the past. Remember, it's, it's from. Remember. Oh, yes. Remember. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I did a spelling thing here. Okay, thank you. Okay. Remember, yeah, very good. Um. So uh, which ones are 
regulars and which ones are irregular? Regular are lock, open. How do you know that those are regular? Because in these cases, only add ed at the end of the, of the words. That is correct. Yes, right. So whenever we have a rule, ed ending at the end of the verb, so that means it's a regular. And the rest of them that don't follow rules, well, they are irregular verbs. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. We're going to have this conversation. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? Have you ever ha had a Cuban sandwich? Do you understand this question? Have you ever had? Do you understand the question? Have you ever had a sandwich? Let me check the chat. Yes, I guess. Okay, thank you so much. Lil Ileana, thank you so much, Ileana, Freddy. Okay, Freddy, also Liliana, thank you so much. And Sandra, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Um, Daniela, do me a favor and describe the picture, please. What do you see there? Hi, teacher. Yes, um, we have uh, two persons, a man and a woman who is, who's art, who are talking about Cuban sandwich. I think she's as asking him like he maybe try it. I don't know. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. Do you usually go out and eat? food daniela or do you like eat at home um that depends the day i mean i i usually go out but i eat at home too that's good that's good thank you so much very good so we're gonna have this conversation i want you to listen and read please Let's do it. Page 66. Exercise 4. Conversation. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? Part A. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. So, have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. We can go to a big restaurant or have a sandwich at a cafe. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? No, I haven't. Are they good? They're delicious. I've had them many times. You really like Cuban food. Have you ever been to Cuba? No, but I went to college in Miami. I ate empanadas and rice and beans all the time. Page 66. Exercise 4. Conversation. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? Part A. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. So, have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. We can go to a big restaurant or have a sandwich at a cafe. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? No, I haven't. Are they good? They're delicious. I've had them many times. You really like Cuban food. Have you ever been to Cuba? No, but I went to college in Miami. I ate empanadas and rice and beans all the time.
Okay. What is this conversation about Janessi Tatiana? Um, sorry, what? What is this conversation about? Um, it's about Cuban food. Okay. Restaurant. Okay, very good. Have you ever tried this kind of food? Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't think the empanadas from El Salvador are the same. Of the Cuban. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, either. Okay, so I'm going to open the breakout rooms about this conversation so we can discuss about it with your classmates, your practice, right? Uh, you have Carlos and Erin talking about it. So I will open the breakout rooms. Save the conversation. Take a screenshot, please. Take a screenshot. Yes, yeah, so I can send you over there. Sí, los voy a enviar ahí a los breakout rooms so you can practice a little bit this conversation. Yes. Ready? Here we go. Uh -huh. Let me see. Breakout rooms, breakout rooms. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see. In the breakout rooms, I will have in the main room, in the sala principal, please stay Daniela Mercedes, Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz, Santos Guadalupe, y Briseida Janeth Garcia de Crespin. You four, please stay here in the main room. The rest of you, please get in the breakout rooms and practice the conversation. Please. Thank you so much. Okay. The rest of you get into the breakout rooms and practice the conversation. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay. For the ones that stay here, remember like, um. okay, very good. Yes, very good. So here you have the conversation so you can practice. Yes. Eight terms and practice the conversation, please. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Very um, good. I don't know if somebody there. <laughs> Hello, Elisa Maria Garcia. Elisa, Ms. can you participate? Ella. Elisa? No? Hello. Okay, thank you. Entonces, yo voy a hacer Erin y... Elisa Carlos. Ok. Y luego se lo intercambiamos. Bye. Bye. Um, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a fame. Eh, min, no sé cómo se dice minuto. Minutes. Minutes. Minute. To have. You closed a restaurant yet? I can't decide. We can go to a big restaurant or have a sandwich at a cafe. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? No, I, I haven't. Are they good? They're delicious. I've had them many times. You really like? Cuba o Cuba, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Cuban. Cuba. Food. Eh, have you ever been to Cuba? No, but I went to college in Miami. I ate empanadas and rice and beans all the time. I, I'm sorry, I'm late. 
have you been alone? No, only for a few minutes. So, have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can. Mm, no sé la palabra. Decide. Decide. Gracias. Uh, we can to, to go a big restaurant or a have a sandwich at a coffee. Have you ever had a Cuba sandwich? No, I haven't. Are they good? They are they are delicious. I I have them many times. You really like Cuban food. Have you ever been to Cuba? No, but the wing to um, no sé cómo se pronuncia. I went to college. Ah, gracias. I went to college in Miami. And I eat empanadas and rice. In Ben, no sé cómo. And the time. Pings all the time. <laughs> Pings all the time. Pings all, all the, the time. time. Very good. Uh, Thank you so much. Time. Great job, okay. Alguien más que pueda participar here in the class? Yes. Yo only. Very good, Santos. Mm -hmm. Esa es una sala, pero me quedé sola. Oh, I'm bueno. sorry. I'm sorry, okay. 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 Uh, somebody okay. else that wants to participate? If not, please, Daniela, help her. Please, thank you, Daniela. Okay, teacher. Um, vaya Santos, entonces elegí quién quiere ser primero. Um, eh, Erin, dale, comenzar. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. So, have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. We can go to a big restaurant or have a sandwich at a co cafe. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? No, I haven't. Are they good? They are delicious. I've had them many times. You really like Cuban food. Have you ever been in to Cuba? No, but I went to college in Miami. I ate empanadas and rice and beans all the time. Ahora yo soy Erin. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. So, have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. We can go to a big restaurant or have a sandwich at a cafe. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? No, I haven't. Are they good? Are they good? They're delicious. I've had them all many times. You really like Cuba food. Have you ever been to Cuba? No, but I went to college in Miami. I ate empanadas and rice and beans all the time. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. The rest of your classmates are here, which is wonderful. Okay. I would like to um, take the attendance really quick so then I can hear a few participations from you. Okay. Please don't forget that you have some exercises that you need to finish on the website, on the platform that I have available for you for this module. So do the exercises, please, and uh, have them ready. Have them ready as soon as possible. Okay, uh, if you have an inconvenience, 
Si tiene alguna duda o algún inconveniente con algún ejercicio, pues escríbame, con gusto lo resuelvo. Y es um, Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Isolina Guzmán Cruz. Blanca. I'm here. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. No, she isn't. Okay. What about Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez? Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here. Wonderful. Good evening. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Racinos. Good evening. Um, good evening, teacher. I'm here. Thank you. Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present, teacher. Nice to have you. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Edwin Benjamin evening. Sánchez Portillo. Edwin, no he isn't. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Freddy is here. Thank you. It's nice to have you. Iliana Mariel Alvarado Mengibar, you told me that you are here just listening. Good evening. Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. I'm here, teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Janie Lisette Escobar Lucero. Present. Good evening. Nice to have you. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. No, Jose. Okay, he isn't. What about Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado? Present teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present teacher. I'm nice here. to have you. Liliana, you told me that you are here listening. Good evening. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera, also you told me that you are here. Hello, yes. teacher. Nice Good to evening. have you. Welcome. Um, Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Uh, Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites. Hello, Milena. No, Milena is in here. Okay, let me check. Oh, yes, Milena is here, but she doesn't answer. Okay. What about Ronald Rafael Cusamaya? Oh, Ronald. Oh, let me check. Ronald. No, he isn't. Okay. Sandra Noemi Pimentel, you told me that you're here, right? Thank you so much. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Good evening. Present. Thank you so much. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Thank you, Tiffany. Good evening. Uh, Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Present, teacher. Nice to have you. And also Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you so much and good evening. So welcome everybody. It's nice to have you. Uh, just let me um okay. Um let me check really quick. Okay. Oh, Give me a minute, because I'm checking some names here. Because, uh, no, no, he isn't. Um, okay, let me check this one. Sorry. Yes, he is here, but he doesn't answer. Okay. And Ronald, okay, but Ronald, he isn't here. Let me double check really quick. No. Oh no, he's okay. Let me get back to the presentation. Okay, I will play the audio one more time so you can recheck, and then we will start with with the uh, participation. Okay. 
Page 66. Exercise 4. Conversation. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? Part A. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. So, have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. We can go to a big restaurant or have a sandwich at a cafe. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? No, I haven't. Are they good? They're delicious. I've had them many times. You really like Cuban food. Have you ever been to Cuba? No, but I went to college in Miami. I ate empanadas and rice and beans all the time. Okay, so here we go. We're going to have, let's begin, Claudia. You're going to be the first one with Ana Cristina. Thank you so much, the two of you. Okay, so Claudia, you're Erin, and Carlos, that's you, Ana Cristina. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. So have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. We can go to a big restaurant or have a sandwich or a cafe. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? No, I haven't. Are they good? They're delicious. I've had them many times. You really like Cuban food. Have you ever been to Cuba? No, but I went to college in Miami. I ate, I ate empanadas and rice and beans all the time. Thank you so much. Right, we have no, but I went to college in Miami. I ate empanadas, rice and beans all the time. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, thank you so much. We're going to have another one. We got Blanca y Sorina Guzman Cruz and Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Erin, that is you, Blanca, and Carlos, that is you, Juan. Ready? Let's okay. begin. I'm sorry, I late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. So, how do you choose a restaurant yet? I can decide we can go to a big restaurant or I have a sandwich at a cafe. Have you ever had a Cuba sandwich? No, I haven't. Are they good? They are delicious. I have them many times. You really like Cuban food? Have you ever been to Cuba? No, but I went to college in Miami. I eat empanadas and rice and beans all the time. All the time. Sounds pretty amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, perfect. Good. We are going to have, let me see. Uh, Janie, you are adding Janie, and Janessi, you are Carlos. Ready? Let's begin. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. So, have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. We can go to a big restaurant or I have a sandwich at a cafe. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? No, I haven't. Are they good? They're delicious. I have them many times. You really like Cuban food. Have you ever been to Cuba? No, but I went to college in Miami. I ate empanadas and rice and beans all the time. Very good. Thank you so much for this one. We're going to have Page the... 60. the rest of the conversation which is this one uh where do they decide to go after lunch let's listen and i'm page 66 exercise 4 
Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do they decide to go after lunch? So, what would you like to do this afternoon? Let's see. Have you ever been close to an alligator? What? No, I haven't. Why? There's a new alligator park that I haven't been to yet. I've heard it's very exciting. You can see alligators up close and take pictures with them. Okay. Let me just finish my sandwich. Maybe this will be my last meal. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. I've never seen you this scared before. Page 66. Exercise 4. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do they decide to go after lunch? So, what would you like to do this afternoon? Let's see. Have you ever been close to an alligator? What? No, I haven't. Why? There's a new alligator park that I haven't been to yet. I've heard it's very exciting. You can see alligators up close and take pictures with them. Okay. Let me just finish my sandwich. Maybe this will be my last meal. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. I've never seen you this scared before. Okay. I love this one. I love this one. So, okay. Question for you, Claudia. Where did they decide to go after lunch? Um, Erin offers to, to go to the new alligators park. Oh, yes, that is correct. That is correct. Okay. What's the man eating? Um, a sandwich, right? Exactly. Very good. That was very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Right. Page 67. Wonderful. We're going to have the, um, the grammar part with this video, I want you to listen and see what is this uh, present perfect versus simple past tense about. Let's listen and watch. Hello to all. In this lesson, we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we're about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Hello. Okay, so uh, here we have these two, right? The present perfect versus the simple past. Here, as you may know, we have the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. It's like you talk about something in the past, but you don't mention when you did it. It's just an activity you did it somehow in the past and you're just referring to. That's this present perfect about. Like, have you ever eaten Cuban food? Oh, yes, I have. I've had it many times. Oh, no, I haven't. I haven't tried yet. Yes. So it is like something that you're talking that you did, right? That is that is in the past. Yeah. But just to communicate that, we need to use the present perfect. Yes. Janie, do you understand this part? This one here about the present perfect? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Ana, do you have a question, Ana, Cristina, Peña? Just about this one, about the present perfect. 
entiende para qué vamos a utilizar el present perfect en in this example? Ana Cristina? No, no. Okay, very good. So I'm going to use Spanish, don't worry, okay? El present perfect in this one lo vamos a utilizar para referirnos a algo en el pasado that que hicimos, right? Okay. For example, si yo le pregunto, have you ever eaten garrobo? ¿Alguna vez ha comido garrobo? Have you ever eaten garrobo? Oh, usted me va a decir, bueno, pues, pues yes. 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 Yes, I have. Para referirme a eso que usted hizo in the past, no puede utilizar el simple past. Para comunicarme con el present perfect. ¿Por qué? Porque yo le estoy preguntando con esto que está acá. Have you ever eaten garrobo? Yes. It's because of the question. Yo comienzo the, la question. The, okay. The, um, always present perfect. Um, um, siempre uh, beginning con have you ever. Um, normalmente depende. Depende. Ok. Porque yo le puedo decir have you eaten Cuban food? Yes. El ever está así como que para indicar alguna vez. ¿Ya? Yeah. Pero si yo quiero lo pongo y si quiero solo lo digo. Oh, have you ever eaten Cuban food? Have you eaten Cuban food? Yes. Eh, like. No problem. Right. Entonces, uh, no siempre va a ir el ever ahí. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ahora, si sí necesito que me entienda this part. ¿Cuándo voy a utilizar el present perfect? Yes, en inglés. Cuando me voy a referir a something en el pasado que yo hice. Right. Yes. Right. Ahora, oh, yes, I have. Ok. Yes. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Oh, un, un tiempo en el pasado. Right. Oh, pues alguna vez en mi vida. Right. Yes. Alguna vez en estos años que tengo de vida, sí comí garrobo. Yes. Right? Yes. So for that one, we're going to use the present perfect. And when you have a question, it's easier. It's easier porque le dan de un solo, right? Have you eaten? Entonces, cuando se le preguntan así, have you eaten? Or have you seen? Pues usted sabe que es una pregunta con el present perfect. Yes. Ahora... Ahora, si usted quiere hablar acerca de algo de in the past, specific. Aquí es específico y aquí es indefinite. Ahí está la clave, right? Aquí no es específico, pero aquí yes, es specific. In the past. Yes. I ate a lot of Cuban food when I lived in Miami. I never tried when I lived in Miami. I saw a big alligator in the park last week. You see, aquí en esto estoy siendo specific. When did I do that one? Where did I do that one? Okay, or if I didn't do it, well, yes, you can communicate it with these pants, right? Yes, entonces, si usted se fija, por ejemplo, acá, yes, mire, esto que está acá, dice, don't mention a specific time with present perfect. Entonces, como aquí me dice que es indefinite, yo no voy a decir un specific time. Ok. I've been to a just... Solo menciono el event. I don't know if you're getting it. Yes. I just mentioned the event in the past. Right. That's what I do. No soy specific. But with past, yes, I am specific about it. Yes. Use the simple past to say when a specific action happened. I went to jazz class last night. Last year. Yeah. Yep. People at home? Is it clear? Yes. Maria Vilma? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Very good. Ahora, it is difficult. Este here, the present perfect is difficult. And that's why I told you yesterday, hey, a little bit more of the present perfect. Porque el past... I think past tense is somehow easy porque solo nos dice vas a hablar un specific time in the past. 
but this one is somehow difficult, not only because of the meaning, because of the structure. Tengo que utilizar have or tengo que utilizar has. Tengo que utilizar also the verbs. ¿Cómo tiene que ir los verbs, María Vilma? Aquí en present perfect. María Vilma, ¿cómo tienen que ir los verbs? Esto que está acá. Try. ¿En qué? Eh, presente, past, or past participle. In present, teacher. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Past. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Vamos a ocupar. Past, past participle. Past participle. ¿Se acuerdan que yo les dije? Este es el present, ¿vale, right, María Vilma? Go. Este es el present. Yes. ¿Cuál es el pasado de este, María Vilma? When. Very good. Entonces, when. When es el pasado, right? Este when va con este, María Vilma, con el present perfect o va con este simple past? Simple past. Exactly, right? Entonces, este when lo ocupo con el simple past. Este no, pues porque no pega, right? Y el otro que es gone. ¿Ok? Este gone, ¿con cuál cree que va? ¿Con este, past, or with present perfect? María Vilma. Mm -hmm. Yes, ¿con cuál va María Vilma? ¿With past or with present perfect? Oh, su micrófono. I'm sorry, your microphone is off. ¿Sí? Solo dígame, una de las dos opciones, right? Sorry, teacher. Este gone, este verbo que está acá, ¿con cuál va? ¿Con this one or this one? ¿Con present perfect or simple past? Present perfect. Exactly, very good. Entonces, este present perfect es el que yo voy a ocupar con el present perfect. Y este voy a ocuparlo con el past. Este no, porque este es para present, right? Yes, este es para present. Ahora, lo que estamos ocupando son este, mire, para past. Y este, el de la columna este, es el que vamos a ocupar here in this one, right? Entonces, that is the difficult part. I think that is the difficult part, okay? And also the combination has and um, also have, okay? Let's have some practice Page here. Six. Tenemos, complete the conversation. Mire, this is difficult. Present perfect or simple past in the verse. In parentheses. Y luego dice short answer. Okay, let's begin. Daniela. Number one, did you see the game last night? Um, I really enjoyed. Past it. or present, perfect. Um, past. That is correct. Enjoyed. How do you know that it is past? Because the question is in past. Well, very good. Carry on, they continue. Um, me? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, I, I, I did. That is correct. Continue. Yes, I did. I, um, it, it was an amazing game. Very good. Carry on. Um, have you ever go to a game? Okay. One more time. Have you ever? Have you ever, I'm sorry. Have you ever, um, gone to a game? Perfect. Carry on. Uh, no, I, I haven't. Very good. Continue. Um, I 
have never. Very good. Been to a stadium. Very good. Been to a stadium. Stadium. But I love but to go. I love to go. Perfect. Very good. Maybe we can go to a game next year. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay. It's not a piece of cake, right? Yeah. It, it is difficult. I I understand. But again, with practice, little by little. Little by little, you will get it. That's for sure. Uh, Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Hello, teacher. Number two, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, how? Have you ever have you ever have you ever been to the Franco's restaurant? Uh -huh. Yes, I have. Continue. My friend and I eat three of the last weekend. It is present. Eating. No, I. Uh. Eating. My friend and I. A. A. Okay. That's good. Continue. No problem. Continue. Very good. I have forgot the specific for the time here. <laughs> exactly. Very good. I'm sorry. Uh, how do I you know I did? Mm. No, I have. Very good. There you go. Mm -hmm. But I... I don't remember. Oh, that's okay. No I don't okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Yes? Okay. okay, so the difficult part is to identify, oh, this is a specific time or this is a not a specific time or indefinite. Yeah? So that, that's the difficult part. And as I told you before, past is about things that we did, right? Like in the past, stay there. But this one with present perfect, that's the difficult part. Uh, and here in the examples, una cosa que nos da la clave, right? Well, es esto, right? Si ustedes se fijan, en las cuestiones aparece ever. Ever. Okay. It's like, have you ever uh, been to Franco's restaurants? Yes, I have, my friend. And I ate there last week. What about you? No, I haven't. I've heard. Okay, escuchado, right? I heard. It's very good. Okay. Uh, so this this is the difficult part. Cuando usted va a hablar algo like que no es specific, right? In the past, vamos a utilizar el present perfect. Yes. Right. So like like this one. Like I heard, I've heard it's very good. You just could share, right? That's that's very good, but. But um, it's not a specific. I'm not giving a specific time. Okay. Here, as Daniela was saying, last night is giving us the past simple. And also it's giving us a next specific time in the past. So you can say, oh, so this is past tense because it's a specific. 
Yes. But uh, with the present perfect, you gotta be careful because this thing, um, we need to figure it out with that one. Any question about this? Any doubt about this? No questions. Everything is everything is no. good, or you got a little bit like confused yeah, on this one. Yes, and again, don't don't worry, right? Don't apologize. Don't apologize when you do mistakes. See, si usted comete algún error en algo, pues no se disculpe en class. You're learning, and that is normal. Yes. Ahora, uh, try and keep learning uh, about the present perfect because it's, it's it's not easy to get it at once. So you need to keep practicing little by little. Okay. Uh, I hope that we can keep working this week about present perfect. I will get some material so we can practice a little bit more on this one uh, between the two differences, uh, between the difference of these two uh, tenses. Okay. Good night, people. Thank you. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you for everything. Good night. Good night.